Well, we're up. <clears throat> we're live. Who's going to be first up? Who's going to be first up? Ten seconds in. <clears throat> oh, one. Somebody's watching. Oh, Natalie's watching. She's first. Ain. Stephen Cafferty's watching from Australia. Trisha. Zena, what is watching? Oh, made me jump, boom. Mandy Sherritt's watching, bless her. Hello from Zurich. Hello, Zurich. Are you receiving? Wow, Barbara. Angela Miles, Caroline White Pinkerton. Rhea's watching. Melanie Jane. Oh. <laughs> Natalie, you were first today. My cousin Stephen's watching. Derek nearly forgot. Shame on you. Angela Foo's watching. 27 already. This is crazy. It's going mental. Gainer's watching. Oh, bloomy neck. Right. Well, let's get cracking, shall we? Uh, this is... Now, let me tell you. Let me start off with... Check this out. Dun, 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 dun. Look what someone's done for me. Got this through the post this week. Chrissy's crappy cookery class with a fight on Bloody Mary on the back. <laughs> Results. How good's that? I got two gifts this week. That one is from a lady who has a printing firm. And I did say, she didn't want me to, but I did say I'd give her a quick shout out. So that's ladyhales.com. And she prints all stuff for crew. It's well cool. Now, the other gift I got. Hang on, who's watching? Susan's watching. 39 already. Oh, oh, Angela's New York. Roxanne Lisa. Oh, my gosh. Right, it's pity time. This was my other gift that I got. Check this out. This is from my dear old friend, Kathy Oakley, who... Uh, lived next door but one to me uh, when I was growing up. So when I was a little lad, we used to play hide and seek together. And bless her heart, she's done this for me. Chrissy's crappy cookery class. How good's that? Elliot's watching, Keely's watching. And, oh yeah, brilliant. So what do you think of that, eh? Aprons on, pinnies on. Chrissy's crappy, crappy cookery class. Now, you might notice the kitchen's flipped around. I've sussed it out because I used to have all the words would be the wrong way around, so I've managed to flip the screen. So now, this is actually what my kitchen does look like. Yeah? Anyway. 50 people. Right, what we're going to make today. We've done lots of savoury stuff over the last few weeks, and I thought it's time for a bit of pudding. Bit of dessert. So I thought, ice cream. Yeah? Everybody likes ice cream, especially in this gorgeous, no, not this gorgeous weather, it's, but when it was gorgeous, it was gorgeous, and you would have liked it. So, we're going to make orange, bitter orange ice cream. <laughs> My favourite. So this is going to be one that is one I made earlier, so look surprised when I do that. Kathy Oakley, she's watching, look Kathy, I've given you a mention. Oh, Lisa's watching from the beach. Crikey. Right, dead easy to do. I'm panning this out because I don't know if this is going to last 20 minutes. So first of all, you need double cream. Get yourself a big thingy of double cream. All right. Now, you can use the hand mixer for this. You can do it by hand, but I can imagine it's really hard. Get rid of that top. Hang on. I love cream. I love cream. I do. So put that in the mixer. So you can hand wix this, or you can uh, you can use a, an electric whisk, you know, with the two prongs that come out. But I've got a KitchenAid thing here, which is Nicholas, so I'm gonna use that. So that is 600 mils of double cream. I've still got this tickly cough, you know. Oh, so. Then what we need is 175 grams of icing sugar. 60 people watching. Blimey. So I've got some icing sugar here. So we want 175 grams of icing sugar. Oh, 
that's going to go everywhere, isn't it? It's like a fine paint. There's not enough there, so I need another one. Let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. Right, 175 grams. Oh, I should have weighed this out before, shouldn't I? This isn't great telly, is it? Bring the bowl into shot. Can you not see this? Can you not see this? Is that better? Right, because I can see it on my screen. Where's Henry? He's outside. I'll bring him in after. So, God, it's going everywhere. Come on, Chris. Right, there we go. 175 grams of icing sugar. That'll do for me. Put that away. So that then goes in to the double cream. <laughs> so then we'll turn it on low for a minute. Because this has now got to uh, soft peaks. Well, so you want to whisk it to its soft peaks. 61 people. Loving you. <laughs> Yeah, you need a fan t-shirt. Right, let's get that going now. I don't know, oh, you can still hear me. So we're gonna whisk that up to soft peaks. I'm gonna turn it down. Because while that's doing that, it's drinky poos time. Now I wanted to think of something that, uh, for my fellow friends, Mixed Fleet and Worldwide and Eurofleet, not so much Eurofleet, but I, they know I love them, but I've never done. I wanted something that would relate us, bring us closer together. And what better than a Singapore sling? Hey, we all go to Singapore, don't we? So let's have a Singapore sling. Right, and we're gonna, let's think what we're gonna call it. Uh, a solidarity, so, no, a solidarity, is that right? Solidarity, Singapore sling. Woohoo! First of all, Tom Cruise taught me that. Cocktail, need some ice. What do we need next? We need a measure of gin. So, we're going to do a double measure of gin because you know me, I like me pot. Do it for Nicola as well, she can have some of this. So, a measure of gin. Then we want a half measure of cherry brandy. Cherry brandy liqueur. Seven. Oh, Ellen's having a cheeky sherry. So that's that. Then we want uh, some lime juice, freshly squeezed. I did that this morning and put it in this bottle. So you must want about half a lemon of uh, lime juice, or lemon juice, I should say. Is it lemon? Yeah, it's lemon juice. Okay, uh, so that is everything. Bang the top on. Give it some of this. <laughs> what does the t-shirt say? The t-shirt on the back says, Fight Sam, Bloody Mary. Do you remember the Bloody Mary that I made in one of the first shows? And on the front it says, Chris's crappy cookery class, similar to what Kathy's done for me. So we're shaking that up. I'm gonna make this a bit faster now, because we're getting... Oh, oh actually. No, I'll slow that down, I think. <laughs> right. And then what you need is you need some soda water. I've just got a bit of sparkling that I made in the soda screen. And then... Oh. 
So that's that, and then what you do is top it up with a little bit of sparkling soda water. And there we have a Solidarity Singapore Sling. Cheers, everyone. Hey, do you know something? That is nice. Flipping it. Oh, cheers, guys. Oh, I'm going to have another drink of that. That is lovely. Right, let's get cracking with this now. I'm going to speed it up. So remember, we want soft peaks with this double cream and icing sugar. And then, basically, what we add is four tablespoonfuls of marmalade and four tablespoonfuls of uh, Grand Marnier, which is like an orange liqueur. I suppose you could watch, uh, you could use uh, Cointreau as well if you wanted to. Or if you didn't want orange, you could make it lemony by add, adding uh, limoncello. Right, it's coming along now, we're nearly there. That's the beauty of these whisks. Is Steve Counterman on? I think he is, he was one of the first ones, wasn't he? Hello Steve, if you are. Rose is on, Pauline Barn, Lisa Hedges, oh. Right, I need this to speed up. Let's have another drink of that. Solidarity Singapore, clean. How are we doing for time? 11 minutes. We're nearly there now. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the stuff that I need. So we want four tablespoonfuls of orange marmalade. That's one, two, so easy this, isn't it? Three, sorry I shouldn't be counting, should I? Do it in my head this one. Is that in? Go on, go on, get in. Use my finger. Oh. Four tablespoonfuls of orange marmalade. Then we get the Grand Marnier. Oh. <laughs> right, and we want four tablespoonfuls of this. Two, three, four. Ooh. So that's that, and then we bang, bang this back in. Turn it on slow, get it all just... And let's get this mixed up. What are we making? We're making uh, orange marmalade ice cream. Right, so we're nearly there now. How good's this? Right, that's done. That is done. Look at that, can you see that? That is cool. So let's get this off. And then, oh, I just bloody get it off. That's it, twist it. Twist it. So then, so you can see what we've done there. Oh! God, Benny, that's good. That is, oh. See, that's good in itself. But what we've got to do now is freeze it. So, get a plastic tub or a Tupperware or whatever you've got. Oh, I'm forgetting about me, Singapore sling. Oh, that is good. And we've got time. 15 minutes, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. So there we go. So your Grand Marnier and everything's mixed up in there. So now, we put this into one of these. What's everyone saying? Cheers. Feeling jealous right now. Right. And that's it. So you put that in there like that. You might need two tubs. There's a lot here. Whoa. So that's that. Put the lid on there. So we need another tub. Need another, need another tub. Did you see Harry sneaking in there? He's just got up. Right. Oh. 
Oh, do you know what I didn't do? Flipping it. It don't really matter. Is the you can now add a little bit of more orange uh, pith. Do you know what I mean? I forgot to do that. I should have done that. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, right, so that that'll do. I'll lick that. I'll lick that with. Uh, how do you know? This part. You know, with the old uh, orange zest thing, you should have put some of that in. But it doesn't matter because uh, it was extra chunky marmalade that I used. Uh, get that, lid on that. Now these two go in the fridge, but I made one earlier, so we have a look at it. Right. Oh, there's no room in the bloody frame. Right. We've had half of this one. Hang on. Let me. No, it's not in uh, a bit too bright, isn't it? But anyway, there you go. So let's get a little bowl. We'll get a little Chinese bowl and a little. Cheers, everyone. Solidarity. Oh. And then we just get, a, and it's quite soft scoop as well. So it, it, it just, it's just so nice. And you've got big chunks of orange in there. And it just freezes like ice cream. I suppose that's what it is, yeah? So, that's it really. That's your orange ice cream made, let's have a taste. And so it just comes out hard like ice cream. Oh, God. Mmm. Hey, you know what? That is so easy. You know, it's proper ice cream. You can, put, you can serve this to your guests. You don't put it in a cone, it's a proper, oh. Do you know what? That is coming excellent. And there's big chunks of, of orange peel in there from the marmalade. Oh, love it. I can almost hear me bloody arteries clogging up now, but I don't care. So that's me done. 18 minutes past. Let's see what you're saying. Uh, feeling jealous. Cheers. Cheers, Barbara. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's cookery class. Uh, I'm running out of things to cook now. As, oh, as I say, I'm, a, I'm not a really good cook, you know. I'm just doing this for a bit of fun. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. To all my furloughed friends, uh, hang in there. We're doing brilliantly. Uh, I felt a real change yesterday when Willie Walsh did that interview on Sky. I felt a real change. He was doing a bit of backpedalling there. And I don't blame him, you know. He, I think he's just bitten off more than he can chew. Uh, I think he's wrong in what he's done. He's trying to break us up, you know. The mixed fleet and the uh, worldwide. He's, he, next thing, we'll be trying to separate us. But you know what? We work better than when we're together. And uh, we're far stronger when we're together. So, solidarity. Solid, solid, I can't even flip. I wish I'd called it somewhere else now. Solidarity. Cheers! Oh, Listen guys, thank you very much for watching. 82 people, excellent. <laughs> I hope it's been okay. Uh, try and make it, I love it when you send uh, me photographs of the stuff that you've made. Fab. So uh, yeah, listen. And if you want your name mentioning, just keep sending me free stuff. No, don't. I'm joking. I'm joking. But thank you, Kathy, and thank you, Hales. Fights on, Bloody Mary. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next week.